I think we can all admit, one of the biggest challenges when starting a new class, aside from picking out the perfect name, is figuring out which element you want to build that class in. Now, resetting those elements on Dofus now is way easier than it used to be, but we still like to try to get it right on the first try. In this video, I'm going to give you my favorite recommendations of each element for every class, and on some of them, maybe even some secondary recommendations. If you wouldn't mind doing me a huge favor real fast and smacking that like button for me, I'd appreciate it. Let's do this. Now, a real quick disclaimer that I like to put on all of my tier list. First and foremost, these are just my opinions. Second of all, these are coming from a PVM standpoint, not PVP. And third, I will point out, I have not played all classes in all elements. We've got the tier list table I've created itself. It's broken down basically into two parts. One is each one of the elements, the four elements, and the last one is no preference. And no preference is basically going to be a class that I have had virtually no experience with and definitely not experienced much along the line of the elements. And I don't feel confident in giving any kind of feedback on those. So we'll start right there with the three classes that are going in my no preference category. Ecoflip is definitely going down here under no preference. Now, I know that's a sore subject for some people, especially my brother. There's a lot of people that absolutely love the Echo Flip class. I have not been able to really try them yet. I've dabbled with them a little bit, but they just don't seem to click with me in a way that makes me want to stick with them. So I'm putting them under no preference. If you've got a preference, let us know in the comments below. The Uganak is going to be the second class that I put down here. Now, I have tried the Uganak. I had the character Wolf Wolf, which was an agility build Uganak, and I got him all the way up to like 180 or 190. It was okay. I didn't fall in love with that element and I didn't fall in love with that class. So I don't feel right saying that agility is my favorite element when that was the only one I really tried. I hear agility is pretty popular. But again, if you got a preference, if you're a big Oogie player and you know what elements tend to really shine for this class, go ahead and leave it in the comments below so other people can know. And the last one going down here is probably the class that I have touched the least out of all classes in Dofus, and that's the SRAM. So again, you got a recommendation. I know strength and I think agility are the two big ones that I hear the most, but leave a comment below so people know what to look for. All right, so these next classes, I'm gonna go through and put them in the element that I like them the most in and give my secondary recommendation if I have one, and then any thoughts of why I might put them in that category. The very first one here being the crawl, I am definitely saying agility on this one. Now, honestly, you could build the crawl in any of the elements. It does fantastic in all four elements. Uh, I know people do Omni, people do crit. I I mean, they're a class that you can build in any kind of way. They're very straightforward, easy to use class. My favorite though is agility. They have awesome range. You start out with a great spell. You've got pushback that you can do. You got HP stealing you can do. It really has a lot of stuff covered and you can still use some of those other elemental spells like some of the chance range stealing spells to complement that. And it doesn't take away at all from the agility abilities. So I'm a huge fan of agility as my favorite, but again, you could build them in just about any element. Element. For the Elio class, I'm going with the Chance. And believe it or not, I have tried the different elements on this, even though most of my content on the channel has been strictly with the Chance build. I like how straightforward it is to understand how the spells work. And when you're already using portals, trying to figure out how to use portals and kind of wonky spells, linear spells that only push or pull in certain directions and trying to learn how to do the portals at the same time can be a little overwhelming. Fire is probably my secondary recommendation just because of that same thing both chance and fire the spells are very straightforward and easy to understand so it allows you to focus on the portals now agility and earth are probably fantastic options as well if you're a portal pro you might be able to look into them a little more but for me i like chance the most probably intelligence the second all right next up we got the any ripsa and yes i'm definitely going intelligence on this again it's pvm i've heard pvp it's a fantastic build there as well chance and agility have the potential to be big healing type builds as well, but it's a little trickier, almost situational at that point. I like intelligence because it's straightforward. You point, you click, you heal, you point, you click, you do damage. You know exactly what your spells are gonna do. It's easy to understand. I love that when I'm using them as a healer. Never tried the strength build. It looks like it's supposed to be like a high damage build. They, they kind of don't have any healing abilities. Now I think I saw they've got a satchel that they can kind of use as a workaround, but I think it's supposed to be mainly a damage build, but I'm going intelligence on this one is my favorite. 
I don't really have a secondary, but if you've got a secondary that you like for the Inny, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I'm curious to see what else is out there. Okay, for the Inny trough, I'm definitely going with Chance. And it's not just because I'm old school and I still remember how amazing the living chest used to be, giving you double the loot drops. No, I think this is a great class when it's built for Chance. Now you can go Agility, which would be my secondary recommendation. They have extremely high damage from good range. But with Chance, you start out with a good 2 AP long distance spell right from the beginning. And then as you move up into those higher damage spells, you also get a nice AOE that does a big group damage and it can do passive heals at the same time, which I think is a great compliment. In fact, a lot of times when I get up into those higher levels, I'll go with a Chance and Intelligence hybrid build so that I get more use out of the Ghostly Shovel and the Shovel Throw, which requires no line of sight. I think that's a really strong build for an Inny Trough. Agility would be my secondary recommendation. If you want to go pure build, agility is amazing. You're going to do great damage again from long distance and you don't get locked anymore. But I like loot, so I'm going to give the advantage to chance. Okay, with the Pekka, I'm going to go with agility on this one. If you want a tank that can lock and even pull people back to you that are trying to get away, this is a great class to go for. Uh, anybody that's a pro with this class, the enemy would probably never get away from them. Now, if you want to stay more at a distance and do range, Chance would definitely be a good, solid secondary build. They got fantastic range all the way across the map you can hit with, and you can steal Chance to buff yourself and be able to do more damage on the following turns. It's a great setup. So if you want to be close to the combat, I say agility. If you want some nice distance, you can't go wrong with chance. All right, the Foggernaut's going to be the first one I put under the strength category. Again, Foggernaut could really be built in just about any element. They're a very versatile class. I prefer strength because you start off with a nice, long range, low AP spell right from the beginning. Build yourself strength and use your Harpooner. And between those two abilities, you're going to carry yourself a long ways very easily at the start of this game. Now, if you want them as a healer, the Intelligence build is a would be my secondary recommendation. They are fantastic intelligence classes now i feel like they don't really start to shine until over level 100 and if you've seen my class guide you'll understand why i say that but i think strength is my favorite for absolute damage output and intelligence would be my secondary recommendation now i'm not covering pushback or crit builds or anything like that in this tier list but obviously pushback might be a number one recommendation for most end game foggernauts I'm dabbling with one right now to try to get the hang of them, but personally, I still prefer strength and intelligence as my secondary. All right, the Hupper Mage. I'm going to put this under intelligence. I have dabbled with all four elements now, and as you've been watching my solo gameplay, you know the frustration I've been feeling here lately as a pure chance build. Chance build does incredible damage, but you have very little movement, at least below level 100. Again, I haven't gotten to those end game levels yet, but at the lower to mid level so far, you'll find yourself frustrated with how little range you've got to work with. So chance is great damage, but somewhat limiting. I'm working on trying to switch back to an intelligence strength hybrid. If you've played the Hupper Mage class, you know that they're kind of a bi-elemental or multi-elemental class. You can use them as a solo element, but I feel like they really begin to shine as you begin to tap into those other elements. And so in strength and intelligence is where I'm going. I like the range. I like the AOE of attacks of being able to do those at a range, to be able to steal health from a range. Uh, as you can see, range is what I'm wanting the most right now from the Hupper Mage, which which might be why they're kind of falling into that category. Maybe later down the road, I'll wish I'll put them somewhere else in there. Agility has great range, but it just wasn't an element that I was enjoying as much. Uh, strength and intelligence are my first and second recommendations on there. Okay, this is probably no surprise, but IOP is definitely going in the strength category. You got low AP spells. You got a nice variety of spell attacks you can do in that element all the way from level one to 200. There's a nice spread of elements that you get. Plus you get the nice neutral damage and you get IOPS Wrath, which is a big selling point for the IOP. For me, when it comes down to a secondary recommendation, I really like the intelligence. In fact, I even did a strength intelligence hybrid for a few years and absolutely loved it. So I think intelligence would be my secondary recommendation. You get a little more flexibility with your range. If you like to be close combat chance is really good for that i like strength most and intelligence would be my secondary recommendation all right the masquerader i'm gonna put this underneath the strength as well this is a great class and you can kind of like some of these others you could go in any element and every element plays very different and you've got the three masks that make 
you play very different just depending on the mask you select. It's, it's a very unique class. If you're looking for something that's got a lot of moving parts, mask might be something you like to try. I like strength because they do substantial damage. Furia gives you a nice damage buff. And then if you combine that with the shove off spell, which will give you that bonus of damage in each of the elements that it hits in, it's a very powerful combination and it gets you away from the enemy. It's a nice setup. Now I know chance is pretty popular. My brother did a chance build for a while and that one you're going to be doing a lot more pushback. You're going to be right in the enemy's face and slamming them up against stuff. Agility is kind of nice too because you're able to hop and move around and do damage at the same time. A lot more mobility with that setup. So if those sound enticing to you, both agility and chance can be good. But my preference is strength and then probably agility would be my secondary recommendation. Okay, for the Osamota, I'm going to go with the chance option here. Now, I ran a poll on my channel to see what other people would prefer, and if I think of it, I'll flash it up on the screen here, and Intelligence actually won out as the number one recommended build that people like for the Osa, which I was actually kind of shocked by. I thought Agility would have probably been the biggest one because I see a lot of people using that class. You get fantastic mobility with the agility setup, but I really like the chance build. I think the toads have a nice variety of spells, do great damage. They have the pushback ability to be able to kind of trap things a little easier. And I like the fact that the Osamoda's chance spells are easy to use and do good damage as well. I feel like some of these, you have some really good summon attacks, but then your direct damage spells are kind of eh. But then on some of the others, your direct damage spells spells are really nice but then the summon spells are kind of eh. so you know it's kind of finding that sweet spot but with the chance I like both the summon spells and my spells so it complements what I like to do and you kind of get more loot so you know that's a that's a little extra perk too <laughs> and the panda I'm gonna put that underneath chance as well now for me it's a toss-up get it it's a toss-up because the panda can throw but with the Panda, I feel like Chance and Strength are very similar in their capabilities. They both have fantastic damage. They've got some AoEs. They've got some awesome range. I was happy with both of them. Now, I'm giving Chance the, the slight edge here because their AoE attack allows them to hit around a corner. And you will be amazed at how often you will find yourself using that. Now, if the corner's not very deep, you can still hit them with your strength AoE by just going through the corner. But if it's a thick wall, you can't do that. Chance will allow you to hit around a corner. That's the main reason I'm giving them the edge on this, but both strength and chance are fantastic builds, but my preference would probably be chance just slightly over strength. All right, the rogue. Now, I know intelligence is probably where you're expecting me to put this, and that's where most people would probably say the rogue is its best. That's where it shines. Lots of people like the rogue, and as far as I know, that's going to be your highest damage output with using bomb walls. So that's probably where most people would go, and that's probably where I would tell most people to go. But for me, what I enjoyed most was the agility. I liked the fact that I didn't get stuck. I could walk around real easy so I could put my bombs and things out there really well. Now, with the intelligence, people that are really good with the rogue, they don't get stuck either. They push and pull and swap and jump and they can move around the map just as easy. But with my yacht brain, being able to just walk away from a target is so much easier. Also, I like the direct damage spells you get with the agility build. Those boomerangs that you can throw without line of sight and hit things around a corner and everything. I like that. And I also like the fact that if you got an enemy on a bomb wall, you could stand next to them and potentially lock them on the wall, making it harder for them to even get away. So all I'm saying is fun factor for me, I really like the agility, but intelligence is probably the smarter way to go. <laughs> All right, for the Sacrier, I am going with strength on this one as well. Now, the Sacrier, I believe, is another class you could pretty much probably go in any element. I haven't tried all of them, so you might leave a comment below if you think there's a different one that shines better. I'm a huge fan of the strength build because they just have ridiculous damage potential. And at level 170, you get the Gash spell, which is like the perfect Sacrier spell. You do incredible damage and you lower your health, making you even stronger to do on your next attack. It's a fantastic combination. Now I have heard if you are a solo build that runs around a lot, chance can be really good. It, they're supposed to be really good at locking enemies next to them and doing AOE damage. They get health back, I think, every time they do big damage. So if you're looking for a secondary option, Chance is probably the one that I would recommend, especially if you're solo, running around a lot. If you've got a preference for intelligence or agility, leave it in the comments below if you think one outshines the other. But for me, strength is my favorite build. 
All right, the Sedita, I'm gonna be putting underneath the intelligence. Now, I have to tell you that my experience with Sedita has been only with groups. I haven't done really any kind of solo gameplay with them. And my experience has been fantastic as a group, which is why I like the intelligence build because they, they really complement a team well. They got their summons and their dolls that they can throw out there to do things. The trees become great companions, being able to do the earthquake, being able to heal people from across the map because your trees are placed out there in certain ways and they do incredible damage. In fact, one person actually commented on one of my videos said that if you place your trees right and you do your earthquake just right and everything, you can do more damage with the intelligence build than any of the other builds. Now, if I had to make a secondary recommendation, it would definitely be strength. I like the fact that you can do some really good damage, again, way across the map. The only thing I did not like so much about the strength is there's a whole lot of linear only spells, which means you gotta be able to line yourself up a lot. And I don't like that restriction too much, but again, there's a big AOE attack, which really kind of eliminates the need to be able to, you know, aim more than just linear. I would say that's my secondary recommendation, especially if you want just direct high damage, they're really good for that. So in my opinion, I like intelligence the most, strength probably is my secondary recommendation. All right, and the last one, Zeller, I'm gonna put this underneath the strength category. I have played with the different elements a little bit. My strength, Zeller, was actually an agility hybrid, which was nice because they've got some nice spells for like rewinding characters to positions, but most of the time I was just rewinding them to then set them up for a Zeller punch, which is a strength attack. Zeller's punch, I think, is a fantastic spell for doing massive damage and easy telefrag. And then when they're in the telefrag state, you can then hit them with a dark ray to do double the damage that you normally would. It's an amazing amount of damage that you can do. Now, I'm also gonna throw agility out there as probably my secondary recommendation, but not necessarily because of the way that I use them. I know that agility is a popular build because of that little synchro summon. So if you're really good at doing telefragging and building that thing up to a massive amount, it can be some fantastic damage as well. But for me, strength is probably my favorite because it's easy to set them up for telefrags and it's easy to do massive damage. I'm all about that with my yacht brain. So there you have it, my favorite element and sometimes secondary element for every one of the classes. So what's your favorite element for your favorite class? For PVM, of course. Let me know in the comments below. It'd be great to hear some feedback from you. And if you haven't done so already and you wouldn't mind smacking that like button, I'd really appreciate it. And if you like Dofus PVM tips, guides, and gameplay, well, that's what my channel's here for. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you know exactly when my videos go live. Until next time, you all be safe out there, and I will see you on the next one.